on is now Thursday. I'm starting to feel incredibly awkward now too since, you know, filming is a little bit more difficult than I expected. You have to think a lot more about what you're going to say and it requires just effort if you want it to be good, which I mean is like anything else, but I digress. So, what does it mean to be Caroline? Well, since this is a biographical video and you guys really don't know who I am and who this person is, I guess I should introduce myself. Well, I'm Caroline. It's nice to finally meet you. My general biographical information is very similar to yours since we both attend the same high school and live in Central Florida, but if you forgot, which you probably haven't, I live and attend high school in Central Florida as well. I love running. I just love running. I've been doing it since seventh grade when I decided to join track and field. Um, I just kind of hate it sometimes though. When I feel fat, you know, sometimes we all have those days, have drank too much water, or I'm just generally feeling tired and lazy, like I just don't want to do anything. But yes, so I run track and field, and I also run cross country. Some people tell you I'm a tad bit crazy for liking distance events because it seems that the 800 and the mile are the favorite events in track, but I love the two mile, like I really like the two mile and the 800 is just too short. Two laps, I mean, yeah, no, no mid distance for me. But basically, I spend large chunks of my free time looking like I'm dying while trying to get in those miles. Um, on the bright side though, my calves are really, really toned but my upper body couldn't really say the same thing. Because, <laughs> yeah, it speaks for itself. In terms of school, I'm incredibly neurotic, like type A, crazy, I have to get all my work done on time and be the best and get straight A's and never fail. And when I do fail, I feel horrible and sad for a while and then I kind of get over it. But I'd really like to thank the AP College Board for being there for me for the last three years. They've really inspired me to grow in ways I just couldn't have imagined. All those nights cramming, those 20 page study guides, the useless memorization of information that I will forget the day after those exams come in May. I just sincerely thank them for all that they've done and the opportunity that they've provided for me. You know, because colleges really want to see that, you know, they want to see the dedication and the motivation and the moments you just want to pull your hair out because you absolutely cannot figure out how to do an ice chart in AP chemistry and, you know, you're kind of stuck and it's midnight and you're like, oh no, what do I do? <laughs> it's not like I can just, you know, come up with the answer when it's this late. But another cool fact about me is that I am one of five sisters. We are all very different, but hopefully one day we'll learn to accept our differences and get along a little bit better because our personalities are like ice and fire or hot and cold. We're all really, really, really different. Growing up, I always hated being one of five because you never really get any alone time and sometimes you just really want peace and quiet and having four sisters doesn't really offer that. So I really envied those only child families. In my free time, which is not very frequently because of school, <laughs> I enjoy reading the New York Times and the Wall Street Journal. So yes, I am one of those nerds that reads the newspaper. I know, it's so weird, right? You totally didn't expect that of me from what I introduced myself as. I don't do it to look cool and I don't do it to impress people. I just like reading the newspaper. So that's what I spend my free time doing, partially. Besides watching Mad Men, because I highly recommend watching Mad Men. It is one of the best shows I have ever watched. And I don't really watch TV because I'm one of those neurotic people who's like, I don't have time. I don't have time to watch TV. How could I possibly watch TV? So much homework, I can't live with myself. Ah. So yeah, I kind of sometimes hate being a girl because it means that sometimes you really have to dress up nice when you really, really, really don't want to. And sometimes I really just want to dress like a potato and be a potato and go to school and run in clothes, but I can't 
because deep down inside, I'm like, oh, people are judging me for what I look like. I can't. I have to look nice for them, even though they don't really, really care. So I get to um, a point where I'm just like, oh, okay, running shorts, t-shirt. Oh, the simplicity, the wonderfulness of the simplicity. I don't have to think about if my outfit matches or if my accessories go or if my shoes go with my outfit and all that kind of stuff. But yeah, I tend to lean towards laser side of my wardrobe. Well, I'm happy to have finally joined you on the interweb, Leon. Hopefully my social awkwardness really shines through in this video and I shall see you on Monday. Bye, Leon.